Hi! Okay, so welcome to Creativity Tuesday. I have about an hour. My son is asleep, I think. Hopefully he will sleep for the full hour, but I promised myself that I would do this no matter what. And so that's where I'm at. Um, I was looking at some inspiration to kind of get me going and I found this picture and I just, I think it's just the sweetest thing. So I'm going to copy like an artist and not try and duplicate what Sam Cannon did, but actually make it my own. Um, I really like little animals sleeping in circles, like cats and foxes and that kind of thing. So I'm, uh, that's exciting. So let's see. Okay, so I've got some Bombay inks here, India ink, and some Liquitex ink, and golden colors, and my favorite colors, teal and purples, basically, and this quinacridone um, violet and turquoise thalo, um, or thalo turquoise, and then permanent violet dark, which is my very favorite color. Um, yeah, and I've got a couple of other things spread around. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to start filling in the pencil, basically coloring. Um, I don't abide by nature rules in terms of like what things look like in real life. Usually I am... Usually I like to go with different colored animals. It makes me happy, it makes my inner kid happy. And then I'm not so worried about the end result.
I've painted in the bunny here and then I painted in all of the all of the sky up here and I'm unsatisfied with the way this blue is going so I think I want to add some a, a, a white band or two and maybe make these a little more uniform I'm not sure they don't yeah, I'm going to start with the white band and see how I how I feel. figure out what I want to do in this section what colors I want because I've already got my blue and my purple and I want something that looks like ground here um, but I don't necessarily want to use green I'm gonna use a couple of Jane Davenport's new paints these come in a set of four and I really liked them for neutrals so I'm probably going to use this one as the darker color and then this one as like a highlight maybe this one I don't know I'm probably not going to use the pink so yeah these three seem good to me and I don't usually use brown um, but it feels right for this painting. And, and there's purple in the sky and purple here. I feel like this will be a nice complement to the blues and the purples happening. And um, I'm already not satisfied with the way this is going. <laughs> so I'm probably gonna redo this or figure out something else to do here.
colored in and I really, really love this. Um, and in the original painting that I was kind of like working from, the copy or the, the sentiment goes down the, down the hill and kind of nestles in here. And so um, I'm going to find something that I, or write something that I want to put here and like around, probably around the bunny too. Um, I really, as I was going, I really, really enjoy this white spiral um, kind of containing the, the bunny. And once everything dries, I'm probably going to make, let's see if I can find it. Oh. This is something that I use. It's Martha Stewart uh, multi-surface pearl. It's the paint that I use um, for my moons usually. And I'll probably put it here, here, here. And then like the bunny is wrapped in, in moonlight as well as earth. I really like that, um, that kind of symbolism. And, and now that I'm really thinking about it, I really, really love that the earth is red here because I live in Georgia and we have a lot of red clay. Like, so that really speaks to me a lot. Um, and then I'll probably add some stars and stuff up here. And uh, yeah, I may define the lines a little more um, of the different colors just because I think that that'll be pretty. Um, but other than that, uh, yeah, I can't, I can't really see that there's any mu much more to be done. So I'm going to fast forward the next part of this and hopefully, um, hopefully this was inspiring for you. Thanks for joining me. Bye. I mean, like stay tuned, but also bye. <laughs>
I want to put Let Us Lay Under the Moon and Let Us Lay Under the Moon and Make Wishes on Fireflies. So in order to do that, I, I'm not good at just kind of making sure that all of the, the words fit in this space that I've allowed. Um, and this one, so I tend to start in the middle and work my way this way and then the other way. And I'll do the same thing here because I want fireflies to be here. You might see that this is different. First, my camera lost power. And secondly, I tried to write it and I ended up not liking it. And these are usually, you can, um, these are usually water soluble. This is a Uniball Signo um, UM153 pen, but I could still see. So I painted it in gesso and then went back over it with um, quinacrinone violet. So anyway, now I'm going to try this again and hopefully it will work. And I'm going to speed it up for you. I think this just looks great and I'm really excited. So, yay!